What happens when Dell takes one of its most highly rated consumer computers in the company's history, the XPS 13, and reworks it for the business crowd? The Latitude 137370. I'm Courtney with WinBeta, and today we're taking a look at Dell's newest entry into its enterprise-focused Latitude line. At a glance, the XPS 13 and the 7370 are strikingly similar. Basically the same size, same Infinity Edge display, same basic layout and features. There are some differences to be found though. Our review unit is completely clad in soft touch carbon fiber, making it a pleasure to hold and use for long periods of time. The edges are soft, never digging into your wrists, and the keyboard has a great feel to it. The soft touch tends to be a smudge and oil magnet, but Dell does offer an aluminum option for the back of the display. Typing is quiet and the backlighting is bright and even. The trackpad is mostly a good experience, but it's definitely not a precision trackpad like the XPS 13. The big buttons at the bottom respond well, but aren't going to be for everyone. The trackpad is a little small because of the buttons, and some gestures would get triggered accidentally, but it could have been worse. The Infinity Edge display is still as great as ever, tiny bezels and rich colors. The display has 1080p non-touch and 3200 by 1800 touchscreen options available, and both come with an anti-glare coating. Compared with other glossy screens, the reduction in reflections is impressive. The 7370 weighs 2.48 pounds or 1.12 kilograms and measures 0.56 inches or 14.32 millimeters thin, with a slight taper to the front of the unit. It includes ports for a SIM card for cellular equipped models, micro HDMI, two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C, micro SD, headset, USB 3.0 type A, and a Kensington lock. Full-sized HDMI and SD ports along with an extra full-sized USB would be appreciated, but overall it has enough variety to keep you covered in most situations. Some of the biggest downfalls were the same as the XPS 15 we reviewed not too long ago, the speakers and the webcam. The speakers are very loud, but they lack low end, and tend to end up sounding very mid-tone heavy and muddy. They seem optimized for human speech and conferencing, which is fine in a business device, but it's a bit disappointing considering how pricey it is. The webcam is positioned awkwardly, which we've come to expect from devices with the Infinity Edge display, but it's still unfortunate. The Latitude 7370 uses Core M series Intel CPUs, which allows for a fanless design, but are underpowered compared to their traditional Core series siblings. Thankfully though, normal day-to-day -day tasks run well. Our review unit is equipped with a Core M5 CPU and 8GB of RAM. 20 plus Chrome tabs, several Word documents, PDFs, chat clients, and other utilities ran without issue. File access was equally zippy with our NVMe SSD, with no noticeable bottlenecks opening applications or files locally or over a networked file share using Wi-Fi. Battery life was acceptable, but definitely leaves room for improvement. We averaged four to five and a half hours on a normal day with brightness at a third and Wi-Fi enabled, which is even more disappointing considering the ultra low power Core M CPU. One last side note, this is one of Dell's first laptops to charge purely through USB Type-C, a small feature, but appreciated. Dell also made sure to include all the less glamorous, but arguably more important aspects of a business-focused device. All the security and management-related features that let businesses rest easy, knowing their IT department can keep track of devices out of the office. Intel vPro, TPM 2.0, Dell Control Vault, and CompuTrace are a few supported hardware and firmware features present on the 7370. Dell also has options for Wi-Gig and Intel's WiDi 6.0 technologies to help users wirelessly connect to a base back at their desks for an easy desktop-like experience. These features don't hinder anything if unused, but are invaluable to companies where asset management and data security are paramount. It also comes standard with a three-year warranty, which is really hard to find in a regular laptop. Overall, Dell's Latitude 13 7370 is a great computer for its target audience. This is an expensive computer that is worth the price, but only if you're going to use the extra features and the support that Dell offers. If you're looking for a great portable computer and you aren't a large company or don't require some of the more niche features Dell offers, something like the XPS 13 may be a better fit. But if someone at work handed me this computer and told me I would be using it on a daily basis, I'd be pretty happy. And that's Dell's biggest achievement. They've made a computer that can be loved by a company's IT department just as much as their employees, and that's nothing to scoff at. If you like this video, keep an eye on our website at wimbeta.org for more news and reviews.